everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're back with another video on Soul Mask. For today's video, we're going to be going over a few pro tips and tricks to help you up your game. So the first one will allow you to get around the map a little bit easier, and this I call wall sliding. So imagine you're up on a cliff, and you're looking down, and you're like, well, I can't drop off this cliff. And I don't see anywhere I can get down. I don't want to go all the way around. You can actually jump off this mountain without taking fall damage. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So, easiest way to do this trick is you're going to want to walk right off this cliff. Turn around in midair and press spacebar to grab onto the mountain. You want to be careful. Make sure there's no ledges because you can take fall damage if you hit a ledge or a rock on the way down. So it's best to do this on a pretty straight vertical rock, but you can do it on most rocks. So you can see right here, if I take this fall, I'm most likely going to die in one hit. So let's do this. Fall, turn around, and you can see, bam. It was a little laggy, but you can see there were actually two points during that where I grabbed on. We can go climb back up again, and I can show you that one more time. Another way to do this that actually is even a little bit easier is if you're in a spot like this where you can see there are some parts that are off to the side so you don't have to jump straight down. It's even easier. You walk like this, you turn, and you can just grab on. You just tap a couple times and bam, not a single bit of fall damage. So that's just, that's what I call wall sliding. It helps you get down a little bit easier. Obviously you can do it a lot higher up than that. I just didn't feel like climbing all the way to the top. All right guys, so now we're back to tip number two. So for tip number two, this is how to keep your base nice and organized. So what you wanna do is, this is a trick that actually I didn't know for quite a while. You can actually sort your boxes by type. So if you go up to any box and you open it up, you'll see down at the bottom right, there's the L set storage items. And you can filter it by type. Now it has to be empty for this to work. If it's not empty, if I put this in there and set storage type, and I pick weapons, it will not let me because it's not that type. Now if you have just this and you put plants, since that's a plant, it will work. But essentially, you want an empty box or a box that's already sorted for one type. Click set storage items and then select a category. For this we'll go say food. And it'll now give you a list. If you just want all food then you are already set. You can go ahead and press L again. It'll take you back to the inventory. And if you exit out you'll now see there's a little food icon here. Now what that means is this box can only store food items. So if I try and put thatch, it won't let me. If I try and put arrows, it will not let me. It will only let me put food. Food. Crystals? No. Just food. And you can do that with whatever types you want. So if I want to take all of this and change it to plants, like plants, minerals, you can even check, okay, I don't want this included, or I do want this included. And so you can actually customize it to be whatever you want. And then also your followers, when they go to put things in the boxes, they will prioritize that type. So if they're set to put it in whatever box, but one box is specifically for plants, they'll put the plant things in the plant box before they put it in other boxes. So that's tip number two. And for our third and final tip for this video, it has to do with your followers, your tribesmen. So one thing you sh will probably notice is if you pull up your proficiencies, if you look at these, they are all capped at level 50. But here we've got abilities that can be unlocked level 60, level 90, and level 120. I clearly cannot reach that. Now eventually, if we pull up the mask tab, after defeating the ape, you can get this, which will allow you to increase the proficiency caps, but that is the third boss. 
and so it will be a while before we get to that point after the actual full game is released. So for now, we're stuck at 50. Now, how could you get up to have these actual abilities? The answer is followers. You can go and you can control a follower. So we will take this one here. This is just a random one that I found. So we're just going to open it up and see they're not even a very high level. Proficiency. Look, armor crafting, we've got 100. Great sword, we got 109 as a max. 97 here, 106 here, 96 here, 90 here. So now, say armor crafting. If I want to use this person for armor crafting, I would be able to unlock all the way up to here for three of these. You know, increase the gear quality, increase gear quality or durability, however you want to do it you can actually unlock those by using these people. Now, there's two different ways you can go about this that I would recommend. The first is have someone specifically set aside for crafting. Find one that already has a good crafting skill uh, for, say, armor or for uh, smelting or for weapon crafting and assign them to do just that. That way, they will have higher quality and they will, you know, you'll get the buffs for that thing. Um, and the best way to do this is to level up their skill. You're going to want to control them rather than just uh, assign them work. And you can walk over and you can just craft whatever you want as this person. And then that will actually give you XP towards your mask and your awareness. But also give XP towards the proficiency of the person you want to use. So that is very helpful to improve your followers as well as your level. And the other thing that you can do with followers is very similar. You can see for the combat skills they also have the higher level ones, meaning they will be able to deal more damage and you can get more of these abilities, including the masteries. You can learn the different attacks or special attacks and abilities that you would not be able to learn as the normal character. So aside from the ones that you have specifically for crafting, something you could do that is very helpful is you could just pick one and play solely as that character instead of as your main character. Just leave them somewhere safe like right here in the base and go out in adventures and use your followers instead because they can get much better abilities than you can. Their stats will go up much higher and overall it will be a lot easier for you. While All the while you're getting mask XP in addition to awareness strength. So it is a win-win. If they die, you still have you, your main character, and any other followers that you have. You can always go get more. So these are just a few little tips here that I have for you. Uh, if you use all of these, it should actually make things a lot easier. I uh, hope it helps. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you have anything you want to see in another video, also please let me know. I'll be happy to make videos on different topics that will help you guys. Hope this video helps. Please give me a like and subscribe, and I will continue to make more awesome content for you.